Hi everyone, today I'm turning this English U and I'm going to turn a, a mortar and pestle. Uh, this is this is my first time turning uh, turning this for the video and it's f my first time turning it out of you um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to have this as a decoration because you technically shouldn't be turned for a uh, mortar and pestle because it might chip over time you know the the pestle in my chip and then uh, that's not good so it's poisonous a bit but it, it's very very nice food it, it, it will look really really nice so that's why I'm going to turn this so you guys get the idea and maybe turn similar one out of a uh, safer wood for yourself so first I'm going to true uh, shape the shape the the ball of it yeah and then uh, I will sand it and I will apply uh, the finish and then I'll move on to the inside Uh, here I apply uh, Danish oil um, because I want Danish oil for inside inside of the, the uh, pot and for the outside it, it will go inside the pores and seal it so then I will apply the microcrystalline after it's dry Okay, so I've I've been told uh, on my previous videos that how I get my uh, microcrystalline finish shiny like I do. It's uh, it's not really any trick to it. The the important first part is to sand it very smooth. Your sanding does impact the finish a lot can't stress enough how important it is to get the sanding right and make it uh, very smooth so after that uh, I apply the uh, microcrystalline by hand first then I turn the uh, lathe on and I will uh, spread it around while it's on so it's thin layer all across then I'll leave it uh, like that uh, for 20 minutes let that dry 
and then I, I will buff it up. I don't know if this does impact it or not, but I buff it up and then, then I apply the next coat. So experiment yourself, but this is what I do. I buff up after each coat and I do normally two to three coat. By the time I, I apply, I buff up the second coat. It, it always is shiny. And the third one makes it a super hard finish, but still very smooth like a glass. Very, very, very smooth. And then I above the third time. And that's it. It's food safe finish. Uh, it's water uh, resistant and uh, finger mark uh, resistant. So after you touch a bit, it won't go dull, you know, like all the other uh, finishes. So it's my favorite finish. Okay, now I got my uh, spindle on. I'm going to drew it up and then I will have it uh, mounted on the chalk. Then we will uh, make the pestle. But uh, I want it to be kind of the same shape as the inside of the uh, uh, of the bowl. So I want it a bit loose to be able to uh, grind uh, some herbs like that. But I don't want it to be too loose. But but you'll see the the final shape as we go i want it to be very comfortable holding it unlike your typical motor and pistol it's like narrow and i don't like it but you'll see mine you could have a palm of your hand on top of it and it's real comfortable holding it like that
okay guys as you can see it's all done I hope you guys liked it uh, I really enjoyed turning this as I always do turning uh, English you it's very beautiful wood and you you actually f feel excited every time you're turning it and it's always different pattern so it's not like same thing over and over again you know like other type of woods uh, so it's it's my favorite wood and I always enjoy turning it I hope you guys turn English uh, you as well uh, and if you do if you want to show me pictures uh, drop a drop a link uh, uh, upload your picture into like image uh, image uh, rare or something like that there are, there's so many uh, sites that lets you upload the picture into internet then you could just link it and show me you know, what you guys did because I don't want my channel to just be me showing you guys so if you can if you turn something similar to mine or something else show me a picture maybe maybe if you did something that I haven't done already then that would give me a, a, an idea and I could do maybe similar thing like you did but uh, do uh, some changes to it so I think that would be really interesting really interesting uh, interactions between me and you guys so if you want do that please uh, yeah that's it thank you all for watching I hope you liked it if you did please uh, please hit that uh, like button and click that bell button so you get my notification for next video and don't forget to subscribe talk to you guys on the next video take care